if the incomes of incomes of a and b are in the ratio of of 3 is to 4 and their expenditures were in the ratio of four is to five and their expenditure out in the ratio of 4 is to 5 means there is reflecting to whom? There is reflecting to A and B only here. There. Expenditures or In the ratio of 4 is to 5. Find the ratio of their savings. Find the ratio of their savings their savings given that given that B saves one third of his income. One third of his income. Great. Oh, okay, my dear guys. So let me put your attention on this question. If the incomes of A and B are in the ratio of 3 is to 4. If the incomes of A and B are in the ratio of 3 is to 4 means we are talking about incomes of a how many people are here. We are talking about incomes of A two people that is A and B are in the ratio of 3 is to 4 that means a gets three parts of a income and B gets how many parts of a income? B gets four parts of income. Very good. And their expenditures are in the ratio of four is to five. And their expenditures are in the ratio of four is to five means here we are talking about there. There is reflecting to whom here? Their expenditures are in the ratio of 4 is to 5. There is reflecting to the both of the people, those who are in that first statement, that to A and B only. A and B expenditures are in the ratio of 4 is to 5. That is what uh, uh, I mean to talk here. A's expenditure is how many parts? A's expenditure is 4 parts. And B's expenditure is how many parts here? 5 parts. Find the ratio of their savings. So here we have to find out 
savings of A and B. Already we know how do we describe income of a person in terms of expenditure and savings here. Already we know income of a person or salary of a person should be equal to combination of a expenditure and savings here. We know what about the expenditure ratio of A and B and moreover we know what about the income ratios of A and B and the last one savings ratio only we have to find out here. Find the ratio of their savings. So that is what our question ratio of their savings means there is reflecting to whom already we know that is a and b a and b's savings only here we have to find out in terms of a ratio and moreover we got it one condition here what is that condition b saves one third of his income B saves one third of his income means savings of a B we came to know clearly in terms of income here. B saves one third of his income means B's income we know very well that is how many parts? B's income is with respect to the given information that is four parts. In that four parts how many parts of savings only for B when we talk about the given condition? Yes, all right. All right, my dear guys. Definitely B saves how many parts? One third of his income. One third of his income means one third of four parts is how much? One third of four parts. That is four third parts. Very good. Let us go for that representation of a data very clearly. Now you should write a given data. Uh, in a sequence manner so that you will get it uh, the required thing in that question what is our required thing we have to find out savings ratios of A and B that is only our requirement uh, let us put attention total how many people are here I am talking about A and B what about the income ratios of A, A and B here with respect to the given information, A gets 3 parts, B gets 4 parts. Let it be A gets 3x rupees and B gets 4x rupees. And their expenditures are in the ratio of 4 is to 5. Expenditure ratios of A and B also we got it here, that is 4 is to 5. Expenditure of A would be 4y, let it be, and expenditure of B would be 5y. Already we came to know, when we talk about savings of A and B, how do we go ahead for the finding the savings of A and B? Not only for A and B, when we talk about any kind of a people, income minus expenditure am i clear from that income that means whatever we get as a income from that income if we eliminate the expenditure the remaining thing would be savings of that person only that's what like you know we are ready to put here what about the income of a a here 3x what about the expenditure of a a here 4y from income we are removing the expenditure when we remove the expenditure from the income the remaining thing would be definitely savings of that person only no doubt about it all right okay now we came to know what about the savings of a here what about the savings of a here savings of a would be 3x minus 4y all right next to one what about the income of a b here 4x so what about the expenditure of a b here 5y and what would be the savings of a b here income of a a we know that is 4x expenditure of a b so we are talking about b here guys Income of a B, 4X, expenditure of a B, 5Y. That expenditure we are eliminating from the income. 
the rest of the thing would be the savings of a b here also and now we have written clearly savings of a a and b in terms of ratio a's savings would be 3x minus 4y b's savings would be 4x minus 5y when we talk about the condition whatever is there in the question b saves one third of his income all right b saves one third of his income means let us put a focus here now we came to know here clearly what about the savings of b here 4x minus 5y b saves savings of b we know that is 4x minus 5 savings of b equal to how much part of his income one third of his income right what about the income of a b here income of a b we came to know that is 4x one third of 4x means that is this one only that means 4x by 3 3 comes to this side 12x minus 15y equals to 4x 4x comes to this side 12x minus 4x 8x 15y goes that side 15y 8x equals to 15y means x is to y that means x to y ratio is how much here 8x equals to 15y means x to y is 15 is to 8 that means x we came to know 15 parts and y also we came to know 8 parts here x to y ratio we got it here 15 is to 8 15 is to 8 means what would be the savings of here a and b now we are supposed to find out savings ratio of a a and b here what would be the savings ratio of a and b here 3x minus 4 y is the savings of a and 4x minus y y would be the savings of a b x is to y equals to 15 is to y just you should replace x value as 15 parts into the savings and y value as 8 parts into the uh, savings equation okay let me check here 3 into 15 45 4 into 8 grab 3 into 15 45 45 minus 45 minus 32 45 minus 32 means the ratio is what ratio 45 minus oh, 32 45 minus 32 would be absolutely 13 parts next one here here great 60 minus 60 minus great 40 60 minus 40 means 20 parts of savings only now we have concluded the conclusion very clearly that is savings of a a as 13 parts and the savings of a b as 20 parts the savings ratio of a a and b as how many parts here 13 is to 20 this one would be the required answer of a question let us put a justification process on this question my dear guys when i talk about justification process let me check once again whether we got it right option or wrong i am ready to talk about justification here justify the answer with respect to the given conditions here right what about the income ratios of a a and b here 3x is to 4x already we came to know in the simplification at last x is to y equals to 15 is to 8 x equals to uh, like oh, x is to y equals to 15 is to 8 means x is how many parts 15 parts y is how many parts 8 parts let me put a attention income of a a income of a a is how much 3x x equals to 15 parts 3 into 15 
uh, income of AA we came to know that is 45 watts next one all right my dear guys next one income of a b we have to put attention here 4x 4x means that is 4 into 8 total how many parts here 32 parts only all right let me focus here 45 is to great 45 is to 45 is to 30 to 45 is to 32 uh, is it possible for us to get a great great very good 4 into 15 4 into 15 parts means how many parts here 4 into 15 parts means that is how many parts income of a B we came to know that is 60 parts all right now we came to know in the justification process clearly income a income of a as 45 parts and income of b as 60 parts when i talk about expenditure what about the expenditure ratio here 4y is to 5y y equals to how many parts 8 parts y equals to 8 parts means 4 into 8 4 into 8 is how much 32 parts next one what about the expenditure b here 5 y 5 into 8 already we know 4 into 8 as 32 parts 5 into 8 as 40 parts when i talk about great when i talk about income ratios of a a and b 45 is to 60 means 45 is to uh, indirectly can i write as four, 3 is to 4 yes absolutely we have satisfied next to 1 expenditures are in the ratio of 4 is to 5 expenditures are in the ratio of 4 is to great 4 is to 5 4 is to 5 means let me check here 4 is to 5 means 8 how many times applicable for 32 4 times 8 how many times applicable for 45 times expenditure 32 is to 40 means indirectly we do right 4 is to 5 that means income ratio we have satisfied and even expenditure ratio also we have satisfied here now i would like to talk about savings ratio what do you mean by savings ratio here savings ratio out of 45 parts, how many parts only Mr. A spends on expenditure? A spends on expenditure out of 45 parts of a income only 32 parts. Only 32 parts of a income is on expenditure means what do you mean by remaining 13 parts? The remaining 13 parts of a income would be the savings of A. All right. Next to one. What about the income of B here? Income of B we came to know that is 60 parts. Out of 60 parts, how many parts only Mr. B saves? Out of 60 parts, Mr. B saves how many parts? Already we know out of 60 parts of income, Mr. B spends 40 parts of income on expenditure. 40 parts of income on expenditure means the remaining 20 parts of income should be the savings of Mr. B. Now we have done savings ratio of A to B that is 13 is to 20. Savings ratio of A and B 13 is to 20 means again we have to check about the condition which is already there in the law statement in the given question itself. B saves how much part of his income? B saves how much part of his income? B's saving is one third of his income. That is what condition already. We got it in the question. 20 is how much part of 60, my dear guys? 20 is the savings of B and 60 is the income of B. 20 parts savings out of 60 parts means B saves really one third of his income only. That means 
all the conditions whatever we got it in the question we have satisfied practically we have satisfied practically means definitely what is the savings ratio of a and b here savings ratios of a and b should be 13 is to 20 only my dear guys this one would be the conclusion of a question all right